The god was so tired after making the world in six days, he literally curled up like a baby and went to sleep for a whole day. That's what some people reading the Bible from Genesis 1 to chapter 2 actually think. Because the Bible says something really interesting in Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. It basically says the Lord rested. So before we get started in today's video, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that God gets tired and needs to rest and needs to take a sleep after doing hard work? Let me know in the comment section below. So let's take a look at the key text here. Genesis 2 verse 2 to 3 okay and this is after we've gone through chapter 1 which is basically talked about what basically God did from day 1 to 6 from a bird's eye view and then basically in these two verses it talks about the Lord rested okay what you need to think about first and foremost is I want to quote two scriptures for you Psalms 121 verse 3 to 4 and I want to quote to you Isaiah 40 verse 28 the context is okay talking about god not becoming tired or needing to sleep and specifically in isaiah 40 verse 28 where god himself is actually speaking and saying he doesn't grow weary or he doesn't go grow, grow faint in regards to tiredness okay so if we know that the bible says this in two other places about god not getting tired how do we reconcile genesis chapter 2 verse 2 to 3 well it's actually quite simple okay now some people will take you into the hebrew and talk about how rested means something else it doesn't mean rest in that regard and i could do that but i'd rather not do that in this video what i want to do is just literally take you back to the verses okay because yes the scripture does say rested okay but what does it say okay it says he rested from his work okay so whenever you're dealing with things in the scripture you need to take it from a standpoint of context okay because context when you're reading something or discussing something is vital okay so if you read the two verses it says the lord rested from his work the context is he was creating for for six days and then on the seventh day he rested from all his work okay so without even going into the hebrew if you just look at it plainly and you read the verse plainly and clearly you can see that the context is he was creating and then on the seventh day he had stopped creating he was finished and he rested from that work okay so he stopped he stopped working and then the next the very next verse verse 3 comes along and says the exact same thing again okay that's um so the lord blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it he rested from his work okay it doesn't say he rested or he was tired and anything like that it means he rested he stopped working okay and the context of those two verses make that clear when you link that up with psalms 21 verse 3 to 4 and you link that up with isaiah 40 verse 28 where god himself is speaking he's basically saying look i don't grow tired okay um, I don't grow weary in, in my work because I'm exhausted or anything like that. And the funny thing I'll even talk about in this video is, um, later on in the Bible, we see one of God's own prophets mocking um, his opposition due to the fact that their God wasn't answering. And one of the things he says is, is your God asleep? So when you think about it, why would someone be mocking someone else's God saying, oh, is your God asleep? That's why he's not responding. If the God he serves... Is, is a god that sleeps as well okay it doesn't really make sense so when you put genesis 2 verse 2 to 3 in the context and you just read it plainly you can see it's resting from work okay the context is stopping then when you get to psalms 121 and you look at isaiah 40 verse 28 which is really the key verse and even if you think about this piece of text here okay where elijah the prophet mocks the false prophets okay he basically says is your god asleep so god doesn't get tired and this is why, okay, in the context it says that God rested on the seventh day. So if you like this video and you've got other questions about the Bible you want answered, okay, make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay, because we've got loads of questions answered on this channel already. And make sure you leave a comment below the video as well if you've got any other questions you want answers to. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks and take care.